A Republican-led fight to block the government from regulating gas stoves failed in the House yesterday. 12 GOP lawmakers voted against the measure, making the, the final vote 206 to 220. 11 of them were members of the Conservative Freedom Caucus. All Democrats in the chamber voted no. So I want to bring in CBS News congressional correspondent Scott McFarlane to talk a little bit more about uh, why this vote failed. But I think we just got to start things off because people are going to say, why, why do they want to take my stove away from me? I don't understand. No one wants to take your gas stove away from you. Let's get that out of the way. But, you know, what was the goal of yesterday's vote and just how did we get here? Yeah, let's talk about the issue first, Anne-Marie. This gas stove proposal legislation is really A, if not the cultural and cable news wedge issue of 2023. <laughs> Republicans are mobilizing on this, saying the Biden administration has given hints or suggestions they may want to ban gas stoves because of the impact it could have on indoor air pollutants. So this legislation would prohibit any administration, including the Biden administration, from doing so. Now, CBS News has spoken with the Biden administration, the Department of Energy and the Consumer Product Safety Commission, both of whom told CBS News there are no plans, no expectations, no attempts to ban gas stoves, but that they are considering making them more efficient so that they function better. So Democrats are arguing this is legislation with no real impact because there are no real plans to ban any gas stoves. So there's your foundation. Thank there's you. your starting point. <laughs> this bill, though, already stumbled out of the starting point, already stumbled out of the starting gate because some number of Republicans in the House Freedom Caucus, the more conservative wing of the House Republican Conference, blocked an initial vote, an initial rule to move forward with this gas stove legislation this week. And they're not concerned about gas stoves. They are still fighting the battle over that debt ceiling compromise last week. And Marie, conservatives in the Republican Conference do not like the debt ceiling compromise, think that the leadership in the House Republican Conference misled them or gave them false hope, and they are now using this gas stove bill this week as a bit of a proxy battle. What happens next is anyone's guess, but it is an indication there is some type of internal, pardon the phrase, mutiny going on for House Republicans. You, that's the point that I was, that I'm glad you made that point because I thought to myself, well, what does this mean for every other vote? Maybe other votes that are a little more important than the gas stove vote moving forward. Yeah, so there are a couple different ways to try to send a message to leadership if you're in the majority. You can try to change the leadership, try to oust the speaker and install a new one. The House Freedom Caucus, the same group that at first denied Kevin McCarthy the speakership in January. They could not find an alternate path. Eventually, they fell in line. They are not moving on him right now, potentially for the same reasons. They don't have an alternative. They don't have a pathway forward or they're not similarly frustrated. So there are other ways to mess with leadership. And this is one of them to try to skew or derail some of the leadership votes. But the bottom line remains the same here, Anne-Marie. This gas stove legislation really is a messaging bill. It stands no chance in the Senate. It's not gonna become law. So what the House Freedom Caucus has done is mess with the message, mess with a messaging bill. Scott, thank you very much.